Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to this year's Fantasy Football or Fantasy Premier League video. Hopefully you do enjoy it. If you're excited for the Fantasy League to begin, hit that thumbs up button down below to show that support. I know a lot of people will be clicking on this video purely to get the code. So, if you understand everything about Fantasy Football, there it is. 37283539 is all you need. Now, for those of you that may be completely new to Fantasy Football, just don't know what it is, and may be interested in learning about it and potentially participating, then I will detail everything that you need to know in the rest of this video. So, there's the code for everybody that needs it. Let's get into it. So first things first, what do you need in order to participate in the Fantasy Premier League? All you need is a Premier League account. So you need to go to premierleague.com and literally sign up, okay? It's as simple as this. You just need uh, an email and then you'll sign up with a password and then you can participate in the league. And so we'll skip to that stage right now. So now that you've made your Premier League account, let's get into the Fantasy Football aspect of it. So it's very, very simple. Basically, in the Premier League, obviously there's games every single weekend, pretty much throughout the season. And depending on what certain players do during the games, and also their position, they earn points. The aim of the game is to earn as many points per week as possible, and therefore getting the most points in total throughout the season. Obviously the person who gets the most points in my league will win, and the winner of the league gets a copy of the next FIFA game. So for example, uh, the winner of the previous season has now won themselves a FIFA 18 copy that will come out, obviously, when the game is released, okay? So that is how it works, it's very, very simple. Um, I'll detail how the points and everything are worked out in a second, but first things first, what you need to do is pick yourself a team. Now, what you could do whilst you're sort of figuring everything out is, you could just go with auto-pick, okay? There are 15 players that you have to pick for your team, you've got a 100 million budget, each player is assigned a value, uh, and you've got until the 11th of August at 6.45pm in order to select your first starting team for the beginning of the Premier League season. So in order to make this a little bit easier, let me give you a couple of examples. So in reality, you would think that you would want to get the best team possible. So all of the hard hitting players. So let's say you think that the best goalkeepers in the league are David De Gea and Thibaut Courtois. Okay, I don't know why you wouldn't be picking Kasper Schmeichel, but that's, that's not my decision, is it? Uh, next in defence, let's say you want to get Alonso, you want to get Kyle Walker, uh, James Milner, why not? He's on penalties. Azpilicueta, uh, and also Gary Cahill. Next, you move on to midfield, and you want just the best goal-scoring midfield that there is. You want Sanchez, Ali, Azar, Dion, Eriksson, and then, you know what, let's go with uh, someone like Gilfie, because... He's an epic player. Uh, next, we'll move on to the forwards for the last slots. And uh, Kane, uh, Lukaku, oops, Kane, Lukaku, and then obviously the best striker uh, in the Premier League. We'll go with Jamie Vardy. Now, there's a couple of issues with this team. Um, there are a couple of players that are injured as well. You can tell uh, by the little flags there. Unlikely to play next match. Vardy, apparently 75% chance of playing next match. Didn't actually know about that one myself, so that sucks if that is true. Um, but yeah, so there's a couple of issues with this team right here. The main one being we have got more than three players selected from a team. So you're limited to three per team, right? So we can't have more than three Chelsea players. We've also got four Spurs players, so we can't have those. So we're going to have to get rid of them. So if we take out Harry Kane and put in uh, the best striker on... FIFA 17 and we go with Islam Slomani, then we're okay with Spurs players. But we still need to get rid of some Chelsea ones, so let's put in the best, uh, the best centre mid in the Prem and let's go with Wilfred and Didi. Uh, and then we still need to get rid of another Chelsea player, so we get rid of Alonso and we go and put in, who knows, uh, why not? Big Purr, just because he's an absolute hero. So now you can see that we've got everything there. The issue is our budget. Uh, we are 13.5 mil over budget. That's a little bit of an issue, you could say. So you can't have every single player being an elite tier player. That obviously, otherwise everyone would just have pretty much the exact same team. So you've got to make sacrifices. And you've got to take out some of the hard hitters, put in someone that's worth a little bit less in order to get a bit more value for money. So let's say instead of... Uh, Sanchez, we put in Anthony Kanaka, right? Absolute legend. Uh, we're now only 7.5 mil over budget. Let's take another one. Let's take out Christian Eriksen. And we'll put in, I don't know, a Palace midfielder. Let's go with someone that's cheap. 
Lee Chung Yong, why not? What a hero. Again, now we're only 2.5 mil over budget. So we take out Kyle Walker because he's overrated. And we put in someone from, I don't know, who's going to be super, super cheap. Probably won't even play. Uh, Angel or Angel. And now you can see our budget is all good. Uh, and we can enter our squad. If you don't want to tinker with it so much straight away, then you can just auto-pick your team and it'll give you a 100 mil team, okay? You may not agree with some of the choices right here, uh, but again, you've got unlimited free transfers up until the first deadline of the first game week. So you could do this as many times as you want. It's going to pick like Ben Teke every single time for whatever reason, or Defoe. Um, so let's just do this so that I can then explain the rest of the game. So you've got to choose the team name, uh, video, team, why not? Favourite club, doesn't matter, um, really. All this will define is which club's league you're going to be placed in. So I'll show you that in a second. So we enter our squad and now we have our team. So as I say, up until the 11th of August, you've got unlimited free transfers to change and tinker your team as much as you want. Once you've decided on your team, then you can decide on a formation. So all you have to do is switch players on and off of your bench in order to change formation. So say if I want five at the back, I'll take out Sturge and I'll put in Bellerin, okay? He should never be in the starting 11, but that's not for here or there. So you could play a 5-4-1. You need a minimum of one attacker, a minimum of two defenders, and a minimum of three... Uh, no, three defenders and two midfielders. So you can play like 3-4-3, three, 3-5-2. Three, three, uh, you can't play two... Whatever, <laughs> right? I can't even work it out. So that is like the limits to your team. And obviously the players on the bench will not be earning points. So you've got to make sure that your team is sort of prepared for the upcoming fixtures. You like you wouldn't want Sturridge and Firmino on the bench when they're away against Watford. You'd expect them to do quite well against them. So maybe instead of that, you'd bench Musa away against Arsenal because you don't think he's going to do very well. Uh, you don't think that uh, Bellerin is worth even being in the Arsenal team, so you'd sub him off for Firmino instead. Make sure he rocks on the bench. So that's how that works. And... Obviously, the players that are playing will earn points depending on what they do. So, very, very simple. If you play one minute in a game, you earn one point. If you play 60 or more, you earn two points. So, if a player does nothing other than play the game, they'll earn two points, okay? If you're in goal or in defense, then you earn four points for a clean sheet. Um, very, very simple. If you're in midfield, you earn one point for a clean sheet. Strikers, nothing. If you score a goal then a striker will get four points, a midfielder will get five, and a defender or goalkeeper will get six. An assist is worth three points across the board, no matter who gets it. Now, there are also other things that can contribute to points. So, for example, if a goalkeeper makes three saves, then he will earn an extra bonus point. Um, there are minuses as well. So, if a player... Uh, gets a yellow card, they'll lose a point. If they get a red card, they'll lose multiple points. If they concede many goals as a defender, I believe it's every two goals you concede, uh, you lose another point. So everything that happens in a game is going to affect the points that your players earn. So let's say David Luiz gets a clean sheet and that's it. He plays 90 minutes, gets a clean sheet. That's six points, two for playing, four for a clean sheet. Simple as that. Uh, Defoe, let's say he scores a hat-trick. That's three goals at four points apiece. Uh, as well as playing for 90 minutes, that's two more points. Uh, but he gets booked, so you take one of those off. That's 12 plus 2 minus 1. Okay? Very, very simple. Now, if you choose your captain, then they will get double points for that week. Simple. If they don't play, maybe they get injured in the warm-up or something, then your vice-captain will get double the points. Okay? Um, again, none of your players on the bench get points unless you play one of your chips. Now, these are available to use once per season. Uh, bench boost means that everyone on your bench does get points. Free hits is something new this year. If I don't explain anything in detail, by the way, you can go to the help section or you can ask me in the comments uh, and I will do my best to respond to any, uh, any questions that you have. Uh, but yeah, free hits basically means for one week, you change your entire team. As long as it's within budget, you can change it to that. And then as soon as that week is done, it reverts back to your old team. So let's say that uh, there's, a, there's a week where only four teams are playing because the rest are uh, playing in the cup or something like that. Maybe you'd use your free hit and that means that you could choose uh, players just from the teams that are playing that week uh, and that's it. 
that would be a good use for it. Uh, you've also got triple captain, so obviously your captain gets triple points instead of double. Simple. Now, uh, in terms of transfers, uh, you can transfer anyone in your team as long as you don't have more than three players from one and as long as you don't override your budget of 100 mil. So for example right here, I could not take out David Luiz for Gary Cahill because that would override my budget and it's not possible to make my transfers, okay? So simple as that. Uh, you get unlimited transfers up until the first week of the season. After that, you get one free transfer a week. Okay, if you make more than one, then it's going to start costing you points. So let's say I did want to take out uh, Bellerin because he's crap. Uh, we go to Crystal Palace, we put in Van Arnholt. That would be a free transfer, it would also gain me a little bit of money in my budget. If I want to make any more transfers after that, it's going to cost me four points for each one. So if I wanted to make five transfers on top of this free one, it's going to cost me 20 points. Now, is that going to be worth it? Are the players going to earn me back those points? Pff, we'll have to wait and see. But it's obviously going to be a risk taking those hits just to bring in new players. So you've got to make sure that they are worth the risk uh, of you losing the points that maybe your new player won't even get. Like, if they have a terrible game, you're going to have lost out because you've spent four points to bring them in. If they don't do anything, they're not going to earn that many. So... There's a little bit of uh, tactical thinking. Uh, obviously, you can sort of think ahead to favourable fixtures. Let's say, for example, uh, David Luiz is coming up to a run where he's up against three of the top four. Maybe you want to transfer him out, bring in someone that's got much easier fixtures. Let's say um, uh, that uh, Arsenal have got much better fixtures. Maybe you'll bring in someone like Big Purr, the absolute hero himself. Uh, and he would get a lot more points. So you got to think about it a little bit, but... You just look at it each week and you update your team, etc. So I believe that I've shown pretty much everything that needs to be said about the game. Um, if you've got any more questions, then again, please put them in the comments section down below. But we've been over like how you initially choose your team, the fact that you've got um, uh, budgets and player limits and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, you can see like right here, if I just go to all players, you can see who got the most points last year. So not necessarily players that are winning the league and everything, but Tom Heaton, because of the amount of saves he made in games, the amount of penalties saved, clean sheets, etc., he got the most points out of any goalkeeper. Um, and again, someone like Sanchez absolutely smashed it last year and got 264 points, which is insane. Um, strikers, Harry Kane, Golden Boot winner, did actually manage to get the most points, but only just... Again, it depends, like if you get a hat-trick in a game and you get the bonus points that are awarded to a player if they've done really well, then maybe that's how Lukaku got so close despite Harry Kane doing so well. Um, so I believe that is everything that needs to be covered. Obviously now we get to joining the league. Now the way that the league works is very, very simple, okay? Uh, you're just added into it uh, once you click this button and then it automatically updates each week and... Whoever wins it, wins the prize. There's also a cup competition that starts in game week 18. By that point, hopefully you understand how the game works. And it's basically you go head-to-head -head against a random player in the world. If you win, you go through to the next round of the cup. Simple as that, okay? Uh, but here you go. In order to join the league, create and join a new league. Uh, join an existing league. Join a private league. And this is where you need to put in my code, which is 3728... Um, dash 3539 join league and you can see we are now in my league right here and we have already got like what a hundred uh, maybe not a hundred we've got a uh, very very close uh, probably 75 people or so already before this video has even gone out so there's already a lot of people again if you've got any questions about how it works then be my guest uh, in order to just ask me any questions. I'm sure people in the comments may help you out as well and we'll do our best to try and explain everything to you. But uh, if you also need more help, then there's stuff on the website that you can access, okay? So I believe that's everything explained. This is the Fantasy League that we're running this year. Hopefully you can enjoy it and hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully the same person doesn't win it that has done for the last three years. So please, someone that's new to the game, please beat him because he's just an absolute cheat. I don't know how he's managed it, but... Someone needs to stop him this year, so 
<laughs> Let's get to it, everybody. But if you did enjoy this, hit the thumbs up. I will be streaming at 5 o'clock today if you want to tune into that. That should be a lot of fun. Looking at the new footies winner and stuff like that. So I will see you guys there. Goodbye.